What's up, Facebook? I know it's early in the morning. I know it is. It's like 2 in the morning, and quite frankly, I don't care. I'm making this video for all the motherfucking trolls out there, and to really, to really and truly put the real truth out there. About why these motherfuckers go on here and say, like, oh, they, do you really think that people are going to believe this? Well, if they don't believe what I'm saying, they better fucking start believing that last video that I posted on here. Because what I said is the fucking truth. And I even stated this in my last live stream on another platform, which is very fucking true. Trolling needs to be made illegal. It really does. Because trolling leads to people getting hurt. Trolling leads to bad fucking shit. I am a victim of pretty much everything that you could do as a troll. I'm a victim of extortion. I'm a victim of cyberbullying. And I'm a victim of fucking blackmail. And these guys don't want that shit out there. Why? Because they want to use me for motherfucking views and clicks. You want to know why they don't want me to fight back? Why they want people to believe that I'm this evil monster that I'm not? Because they want to have control of me. They want to control every single fucking little aspect of my fucking life. And you want to know why? Because they want to see me rage out for views. That's why. This whole pedo shit, it was all a setup. To single me out. It was all a setup to single me out so that they could use me. Because they saw me as weak. And no, I'm not going to get off the internet, Dan. I refuse to get off the internet. If anything, I'm going to continue to speak out against what these people fucking do. I am going to continue to use my voice and speak out against this shit. These people, without any probable cause... Without any cause, decided to try to make me look like a pedophile, not once, but twice. Why? So they can use me for fucking views. And you want to know what's sad? Nobody wants to read between the motherfucking lines of what they're really doing. Am I the only one that fucking sees what they're doing? Am I the only one that's able to read between the fucking lines of what's really going on? I see what these guys are trying to do. I know what they've been trying to do. And it's stupid. And I'm not just blaming them. I'm blaming social media as well for allowing this kind of behavior to continue. These people get to get away with blackmail. They get to get away with extorting people for views and money. And making them do stupid shit for clicks and views. These people get to get away with illegally entrapping people or trying to do so. And they get to get away with way worse shit. Why the fuck are we as people not standing up against this kind of shit? I myself am a victim of this shit. My bitch and ex, Candle Smith, called me shit that I'm not. Music Biz Marty, who is another YouTuber, if you guys are not aware, he is an asshole of a YouTuber that no one likes, who decided to target me because he saw me as a money grab. He saw me as a way to make profit. And when I turned it down, because he saw the video of me dancing, because there is a video of me out there on the internet doing that, when he saw that as a viable way to make money, he approached me nicely at first. And then when I didn't do what he wanted, because I told him, hey, I'm not really doing that for a long-term thing. It was just a one-off thing. But when 
he sat there and tried to make me do it and I refused. What did he fucking do? He hired Kate Peters, who is the most hated individual on the internet, who, mind you, has a drug ad, who is a, a major druggie, who gave up her kids for drugs and an abusive relationship, who lied to a CVS pharmacist about being pregnant when she really wasn't. Marty hired this chick to make me look like a fucking pedophile. She pretended to be 18 years in a phone call, tricked me into sending certain images, then she sent one back, and then after that message was sent, she then claimed to be underage. And at that point, I knew something was up. So what did I do? I stopped talking to her, and I blocked her. Now, by this time, during when all this shit was going on, the trolls had already had a, a handle on what they were going to do, such as calling the police out to my residence several fucking times in several years. But I showed the police officer what was going on. He flat out told me that I'm not a pedophile, that I just need to be more careful about who I talk to. And they can, these people continued to use that against me to drive people away from me. Why? Because they wanted to use me. They wanted to use me for clicks and views. And every time I didn't give them what they want, they used this shit against me. And you want to know it's really fucking bad? You want to know it's really fucked up? Later on down the road, they got this guy named Tips TV who pretended to be my friend. Somebody who I treated like family. Somebody who I treated like a little brother. This guy got me away from these evil fucking people for a short time. Which he did. He got me away from them and I was on the right track. I was doing good. But little did I know that was a fucking setup. He sat there, went behind my back, pretended to be a 15-year-old girl just to try to make me look like a pedophile. And instead of playing along and playing along and playing along like I normally would to shut these people down, because that's how you really shut motherfuckers like that down. I flat out called this bluff. I was like, look, dude. I know you're of age. Tell me how old you really are and who you really are. But that's not the worst of it. This motherfucker knew that my dad and me were not speaking anymore. This man knew that my dad wanted to try to sue me for shit that he could not sue me for. But me not knowing that, and knowing the severity of what could potentially happen, what did he do? He backed me into a motherfucking corner and lied to my fucking face. He sat right there and lied to my goddamn face, saying that, you know, if, if you don't admit to being a pedophile, then I'm going to help your dad sue you. And... You want to know what he lied about? Sitting there saying that he wasn't recording me when he actually was. Lied to my face. And then sat there and blackmailed me and said that, oh, if, if you don't admit to this and do this and that, I'm going to help your dad sue you. And go against you and help them win. Why? Because this man is a sick individual who sleeps with fucking sex dolls. This dude literally sleeps with fucking dolls that look like minor children. And you want to know what's really fucked up? During all these years of all this shit going on, yeah, I raged out. Because I didn't know how to handle this situation that I was presented with. Because I had never been in this kind of a situation where I was constantly under attack. 
And you want to know what the worst part of it is? Because of these people, I lost everything. I had a great career doing Twitch. I was a pro streamer. I was making a hundred and some odd dollars a month. I was doing good for myself. I was doing very well for myself. But the reason why these people don't want me on any platform, it isn't because they believe that I'm a pedophile. No, it's because they don't want me fighting back. Because they know that if I have money, I can fight back. And they don't want that. They want to continue to use me for views. Because they think that it's funny to make people rage out for views. And I'm not the only one they do this to. They do it to several others. Which is why, like I said in my last live stream on one of my other platforms that I'm on, I flat out said this. That trolling needs to be made illegal. Because it gets people hurt. It gets people hemmed up in shit that they shouldn't be hemmed up in. It takes good people like me and makes us look like shit. Because these people are sick. And when I mean sick, they have something mentally wrong with them. They are mentally ill in the head. These people are not normal. What these people do is not a normal person's way of thinking. And it's funny. Everybody's always telling me, oh, go get a job. Go get a job. Go, go get a regular job like everyone else. No, I'm not going to get a regular job. Not just because I don't want a regular job, because I like what I get to do when I'm streaming. I love the fact that I can actually do something with my life. I love the fact that I've proven that I can do something like that. And with the right people behind me, I could do that again. With the right people behind me, which is what I'm currently working on. But not only is it because I don't really want to, because I'm working on making my dreams actually fucking happen for the second time around but these people have made it to where i cannot get a job anywhere because of these people half the fucking people here in akron ohio don't want to hire me because they spread around this fucking lie that i'm a pedophile and that i'm this and that i'm that when you know what's funny if i was really a pedophile the cops the fbi the detectives that came out here, one of them would have arrested me, but they didn't. Every single one of them has said the same exact thing, that I am being targeted by an internet terrorist group that needs to be shut down. And to the law enforcement that have told me this, I say this, if you know what's going on, why are you not doing anything about it? If you know what these people are doing is wrong, why are you not stepping up and fucking doing something? Because you got guys like the Inquisitor who took his own fucking life because of people like this. People like these guys that went after me are the same ones that caused the Inquisitor to kill himself. And if you don't know who the Inquisitor is, he was a TikToker that was put in a very similar situation to mine, and he ended up taking his own life as a result because of what these people did to him. Because they made him look like such a piece of shit when he wasn't. He was genuinely a good fucking dude. Somebody who I actually used to watch. I used to be a fan of the Inquisitor before he took his life. I watched his videos all the time. He was a good fucking dude. Just like me, he tried to spread positivity, kindness, love, caring, compassion. And then, what did these sick little fucks decide to do? They came in, and they made him look the exact same way that these other assholes on YouTube did to me. And what happened as a result? He took his own fucking life. Me, I did attempt to take my own life because of these people. But the difference between me and the Inquisitor, I thankfully failed at both of my attempts. I failed both of my attempts. Thank God my family was here to stop me. 
I failed both attempts because I had my family. People like the Inquisitor don't really have anybody like that. And that's why I'm saying this right now. All trolling needs to be made illegal. This shit needs to be stopped. Because it does nothing but cause chaos and drama. It does nothing but hurt people. And you know what's funny? Some of my closest friends in the world see right through this bullshit and are asking the same questions. Why is social media not doing anything? I mean, these people have literally made actual massive Facebook groups dedicated to try to shut me down, which all times they have failed. These people have actually tried to have me arrested so that they can have me locked up. Also, they can... <clears throat> pardon me. Also, they can have me killed while I was in prison. Yeah, last year, some fucking weirdo in a Taliban-looking mask, dude looked like he was from Al-Qaeda or some shit, showed up to my house, harassed my family, and would not leave our yard. My family warned this man several times to leave. So what happened? I went out there with a baseball bat because he had a... This man had actually gotten all of our neighbors together to harass me. He had gotten all of our neighbors from the far end of our street to come down over here onto my side and harass me and my family. These people were all in our yard and all over the place. So what happened? What the fuck happened? I gave this dude a fucking warning and I told him, look dude, you need to fucking leave now before I fucking swing this bat at you. Because you're on our property and you're refusing to fucking leave. What happened? This dude refused to leave, so I swung at him. When I swung at him, this man stepped off our property, allowing this man to be allowed to press charges on me that shouldn't have been, that shouldn't have never been able to be pressed on me. So what happened? I end up getting arrested. I end up getting out next day. And then I end up going through this whole fucking court case that I didn't even, shouldn't have even had to go through to begin with. For four or five months, I went through court and all this other shit. I went through months of fucking court until the case finally got dropped because the, the dumbass decided to not... He decided to post a post on his YouTube channel basically stating that he wasn't going to show up. Which essentially gave me the win. Now, a couple days later, I find out what's going on. After the whole case gets dropped and everything's clean and clear and charges got dropped, what happened? I find out that these trolls were secretly trying to plan on having me arrested and imprisoned. Also, they could have me killed while I was in prison. Why? Because they want the fucking views. That's why they do all this shit. And I know a lot of y'all motherfuckers are probably sitting there laughing, but guess what? I don't fucking care. You can sit there and laugh all you fucking want because you know what I'm saying is fucking true. You just don't want to fucking admit it. You know what you guys are doing is wrong. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. These guys feed off of anger. They feed off of someone's suffering. They feed off of seeing other people get mad. They feed off of rage. Why do you think I haven't been on YouTube, motherfuckers? Because I know what the fuck y'all are about. That's why I haven't been on YouTube and why I have no plans to come back for a very long fucking time. If ever. And that's why I do plan on launching a counteroffensive against you guys. And I plan on making it known that you guys are a bunch of fucking terrorists. And that you need to be shut down. Because what you guys are doing is wrong. You attack not just me. You do it to other people too. You attack people for views. Why? Because you're lazy as fuck and you don't know how to create real content. Y'all are after a quick-ass cash grab. That's all it is. Y'all want the quick money. And you don't care who you step on to get it. 
You don't fucking care. You don't care whether you believe this shit or not. All that matters to you is that, oh, these people will bring in views. Let's use these people. Hence the term low cow. Now, if you don't know what a low cow is, the basic, the basic breakdown of it is this. These evil people want to milk people for money. These people want to make it to where these people that are innocent people like myself, they want to break these people down so badly to where these people feel like they have no choice but to give the trolls what they want to make them laugh. These people essentially are being made to farm laughs. And half of them don't even want to do it. Half these people do not want to give in to the troll shit. But these people do so much evil shit to them in their real lives that it's hard to not give them what they want. I know they did it to me for a long fucking time until I finally got out of this shit. And to my friends that did help me get out of that, I want to say thank you. Let me break down the mindset of a troll for you and how and how they view lol cows. To them, lol cows are nothing more than people that are good at nothing else but making these evil people laugh. And what do these trolls do? They don't leave them alone. They attack their real life when these people don't get... When their victim doesn't give them what they want, they attack their real life. They make them out to be these awful people. Or they do something to destroy their life. Which is not okay. They did it with me. They did it to a guy named Chris Chan. They did it to a guy named, um, uh, what's his name? Daniel Larson. And they do it to several other people. Oh, I do sleep, dude, but my sleep schedule is very weird right now. My sleep schedule is very, very weird right now because of the fact that uh, my stepdad actually just recently had neck surgery, and I'm up and down all night just in case he needs my help. I'm up and down throughout the night and day, so my sleep schedule is very, very weird right now. But I do sleep, though. But this is what I mean, y'all. This kind of trolling that these people do, it needs to be made illegal. Something needs to happen. And I've asked this question since day fucking one. How many people have to take their own fucking lives? How many people like the Inquisitor have to take their own fucking lives before someone decides to step up and actually do something about it that can do something about it? I'm only one fucking dude. I'm just one random dude on the internet that just happened to get lucky and was able to make a career out of what he loves for a living for a short stint. I just happened to get lucky. Okay? I got very fucking lucky for that short time that I was able to make a living out of something that I love. I love gaming. I love hanging out with people. I love meeting new people. I love hanging out and streaming and having a fun time. I love being able to say that I got to do that for a living. Even if you're for just a short while, I got to do something that I fucking love. And it's a job I would really like to have back at some point later on down the road. I would love to be able to do that again. But like I said, these people, they don't want me to make a living. Why? Because they know that if I start making money again, I can start fighting back. And why do you think every person that stands up for me, they go after? Every single person that has ever stood up for me, they bully and attack. They go after their families, their friends, anything that they can 
Because these people do not want me to have friends in my corner. These people do not want to have people standing up for me and fighting back against them. And you know what's funny? These people openly do this shit. These people have openly admitted to stealing music that I've recorded. These people do not care. They don't care about the law. They don't care what laws they break. They don't care what laws they are that there are. They genuinely do not fucking care. When they see someone like me, they see someone that they can victimize. Someone that they can use to make money. And that's what these people are really all about. They're about using people to make fucking money. That's why I left YouTube like I did. That's why I retired like I did. Because I got tired of being victimized over and over and over. And I got real tired of these motherfuckers going around stealing my videos and re-uploading them. And I know what a lot of y'all trolls are going to say, too. I can already see it. Oh, but when you admitted to it, you admitted to being a pedophile. No, I was forced into that position to where I felt like I had no choice. I felt like I had no choice in the matter. Why? Because I just wanted this shit to stop. So I gave Tibbs what he fucking wanted to shut his ass up. Not because I believed that it was true. But because I wanted the terrorizing to stop. That's why I did what I did. Because I wanted the terrorism to stop. I wanted him and all these trolls to stop coming after me. I wanted it to stop. So I figured maybe if I gave him what he wanted, he would back the fuck off and shut the fuck up and leave me alone. Not because I believed it, but because I just wanted to get away from everything, dude. I wanted to get away from everything. I want to tell you, man, there's very few people, there's very few people that have stuck by me. And to those people that have stuck by me, I want to say thank you. To my fucking best friends, my family that have stuck by me through all this, I want to say thank y'all, man. I really do. Because without you guys, I don't know where I'd be right now. I really don't. It's, there's one person especially that I want to say thank you to. And that is my motherfucking brother overseas, Clint, man. Clint, man, you have been there since day motherfucking one, bro. And I can't thank you enough for being there, man. I really can't thank you enough for that, dude. You've had my motherfucking back since day one. And I can't thank you enough for that. For all y'all that have had my back throughout all this crazy fucked up shit, I can't thank any of you guys enough. There's no way in the world I can ever repay you guys for what y'all have done for me. Whether you're new, whether you're old, I can't thank y'all enough for that shit, man, for real. Because let me tell you, man, there have been days where I felt like throwing it all away. But y'all motherfuckers didn't let me give up one fucking time. Not one time did y'all motherfuckers let me give up. My brother Adam, shout out to you, my dude. Hope you're doing well, man. If you do see us, shout out to you, bro. Hope you're doing well, buddy. And hey, speaking of which, we got my motherfucking brother from overseas right here in the chat. Clint, what is going on, bro? How the fuck have you been, man? It has been a while, bro. I need to... Matter of fact, Clint, after, I, after I'm done with the stream here in a few minutes, I'm going to call your fucking ass, bro. We need to catch the fuck up. It has been a fat ass minute since we talked, dude. We need to catch up. But for real, though, man. All I'm trying to do is get my life back. And a lot of weird things have been going on that have kind of been hinting at things going in that direction. You know, there have been a lot of things that have been hinting in that direction of me getting back to normal again. And I'm taking those hints very seriously. I'm taking those things very, very seriously. 
and I'm really, you know, honing in and listening in. Which, like I said, that's why I retired from YouTube like I did. So that I can start getting back to my roots. Not only doing gaming, but also doing graphic design and digital artwork. For a lot of you that don't know, I do do digital artwork. A lot of digital artwork, actually. I do hand-drawn stuff. I do digital stuff. Um, I do a crap ton of gaming. That's for damn sure. And, you know, and I want to be able to give back to that. I want to be able to share these gifts that I've been blessed with, with the world, man. I want you all to be able to see me gaming out and having a good time. I want you all to get to know the real fucking me, which Clinton here is one of the very few that does get to see that. He's one of the very fucking few that does, that has seen that. He's one of the very few that's gotten to see that shit. But I want you all to be able to see the real me. Like, I want you all to be able to, if y'all want to purchase artwork from, you know, a shop that I might end up setting up later on down the road. I want you all to be able to see that artwork. God damn, that's a cool fucking piece. Let me pick that up on a shirt or a print or whatever. I want to be able to share that with y'all, man. I really do. Which is why, like I said, these next three to four months, like I said, all the bad motherfuckers that are in my shit, I'm going to find y'all real quick and I'm going to cut y'all motherfuckers out. All y'all bad apples that are up in my shit, I'm going to find you and I'm going to get rid of you. Because like I said, I'm going back to my motherfucking roots, man. As a gamer, as an artist, I'm going back to my fucking roots as a competitive gamer, hanging out with my friends, hanging out with my family. But most of all, man, we need to start making a change, dude. This trolling shit, it needs to stop. We need to step up and start saying something. Because like I said earlier, how many people have to take their own fucking lives before someone finally steps up and says, yo, this is enough. We need to put a stop to this. How many people do have to suffer before someone does something? Think about that. How many people have to take their own lives or have to suffer and have their lives ruined before someone steps up and does something about this shit? I've been doing YouTube since 2009. And I can tell you right now, I've never seen anything this fucked up in my life, ever. Throughout my whole career, I've never seen anything as fucked up as what these people do. But with that being said, man, I highly urge y'all to share this around with your friends. Share this around with your family, man. Let's let's start making some noise, man. Let's start doing something with this shit and making it hard for these trolls to do anything to people like what they did to me or to the Inquisitor or to several other victims. And with that being said, love you guys. Clint, I'll call you here in a second, brother. And with that being said, rest y'all. I love you guys, my friends, family, love y'all, and I'll catch y'all later on, man. Peace.